All right, Five Mike here, San Diego Comic Con with Nate Quarry. Ran into this guy, man. How are you doing? Man, I'm at Comic Con. I'm in San Diego. Life does not get any better than this. So it's July 10th. Tomorrow's July 11th. Big fight, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Chad Money Mendez fighting against Conor McGregor. Who you got, man? You got to pick one. Who you got? I'm hoping for Mendez. I got nothing against McGregor. I just don't care for the way that the UFC is force feeding us the guys that they want to be the champions. We've seen this over and over again throughout the years where they take it from being a sport where, where the cream rises to the top, where they decide, well, this guy will represent the UFC the best. We want him to be the champion. So we're going to give him a, a million dollar bonus just so he can be more successful. He can put together the best training camp, all of these things. Can you imagine the NBA deciding I think what would be best for us is if New York and LA were in the finals together, so we're going to give each of those teams an extra $10 million for training. The world would come unglued. Everybody would freak out. But with the UFC, that's what they just decide to do because they've monopolized the sport. And then they decide, well, this is, this is the fighter that we want to be our champion. You see it time and time again with, with guys that they give title shots over and over again, give them bonuses, give them extra promotions. But one of the most... Uh, egregious was uh, John Jones being sponsored by the UFC and I told him to his face I said dude that is a major conflict of interest the promoter is investing in a fighter so they'll be more successful so you'll sell more pay-per-views that goes directly against the Ali Act that's been designed to protect boxers but it doesn't apply to MMA I'm not saying that the UFC Zufa has bought off the politicians who make those laws but you can draw your own conclusions well, so you got Chad Mendes. Uh, that's, and again, I got nothing against McGregor. A great fighter, but I think he's been spoon-fed a lot of his fights, jumping from fighting a guy ranked number 11 to becoming the next title contender. And then when Aldo gets injured what, two weeks before a fight, they say, well, this is still going to be a title fight. We're still going to have you fight for the interim title. Where does that happen anywhere else? No, somebody, and we've seen it in other weight classes, champion is injured for a year, two years. Finally, they say, okay, well, you're not coming back. We're going to put together an interim title. They don't strip the title two weeks after an injury, but they know, well, this is what's going to give McGregor the best chance of becoming the champion we want him to be, so we're going to give him the belt. Do you have any fighters that you're training right now that you see can come in and make a splash in the UFC? Uh, I'm just kind of here and there right now. It's just as, as fighters request me. We had uh, uh, Robert Drysdale up in Oregon a while back, and we worked – a lot with just his takedowns, a lot of his striking. Because I worked a lot with oh, Henderson, Couture, Son, and Linland, those guys. And having never wrestled in my life, I just had to develop takedown defense. So if a guy is, is good and getting me down on the ground and can do some damage, that's really going to be some skills to pull through. And, and training with somebody like Drysdale, dude, it's a, a monster, man. He gets on top of you. He's like a, a wet blanket, just crushes the life out of you. So we're looking forward to him getting back in the, in the octagon. What about you? Any chance for you to come back? Well, no. I'm 43 years old. I've taken enough beatings in my lifetime. Although back in April, just a couple months ago, I did come out of retirement for one special night. There was a young man, 19 years old, been training MMA for four years. His dream was to be a cage fighter. And so I said, you know, if I can do something to help out someone that with as much as I've been given, you know, I have my disagreements with the business side of Zufa, but I love MMA, I love the UFC, I love the sport, I love the purity of the sport, and it's given me so much. I'm, I'm as far from bitter as can be, I'm very happy. I just want to see things progress like they have with all other sports. So that being said, I saw this young man who had a dream of being a cage fighter, and I said, if I can help this young man at all, I'll do it. Because I've been told throughout my whole life what I was allowed to be, how, how I was supposed to be, who I could be, and this young man had the same thing because he's born with Down syndrome. So people told him, you can't be a fighter. This just isn't in the, in, in the cards for you. And I said, no, I'll step into the cage. So we actually, we got together. We trained a few times, uh, went to the FCFF up in Portland, uh, Chael Sonnen show that he started a few years ago, put on a great fight. Didn't go so well for me. He caught me in an ankle lock in the second round, but it was still a, a great event and helped a young man live to his dreams. And we raised money for charity as well for his mother who started a website that all she wants to do is educate people about special needs kids. Let them know that they're just a little different. They still have heart, they still have goals. There's no reason to be scared or, or uncomfortable. People want to train with you, man. Where can they find you? Uh, up in Portland. 
The weather's great there thanks to climate change. It's beautiful. I'm training at Next Level MMA or at Portland Muay Thai, Jeremy Wire's place. It's, a, it's becoming a hotbed again. Uh, just some of the great places. Rose City Combat Club is a great place. The whole reason why I'm here though at San Diego Comic Con this year, I don't know if anybody heard or anybody told you, launching my comic book, Zombie Cage Fighter. 2012, so you're the second interview I've done. I just did one with Spike TV. It's going to air Monday night, 11 p.m. Go to zombiecagefighter.com. You can get a PDF of the first issue that I launched in 2012. But today, I launched the first issue of the six issue mini series, Zombie Cage Fighter number one. This is the Ash Can Edition cover artwork by Alex Horley, just a phenomenal oil artist. Interior artwork by Mauro Montanari, my artist from Europe who came to be here for this event. Really, it tells my story. At some point, every fighter has to leave the big lights, has to leave the big venues of Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay, all that, the Luxor, the good things. Well, for me, I'm a fighter, that's what I have to do, so I get drawn down into these underground zombie cage fights. But for me, this is how I feed my little girl. So if I have to step into the cage against a zombie, so be it. The bad news is, if it doesn't work out so well, well next week I'm still fighting but I'm on the rotten side of the cage. So as a gift to you for your success, I'd like you to have one of the Ashcan editions of Zombie Cage Fighter number one. Only 70 copies in existence. Oh and you're one yes. Of the pride owners. And tell everybody go to zombiecagefighter.com, get your free PDF of the comic that came out in 2012, and look out because this will be dropping in all the stores across the country very soon. All right, you guys have all the information, no excuses. So people want to find you on social media, how can they find you? Like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter? Uh, I think Nathan.Quarry on Facebook, NateRockQuarry on Twitter, ZombieCageFighter.com is, is the big thing. That's where I drop a lot of my, my information, get all the cool shirts and the gear and everything. Everybody always talks about, well, how can we support fighters? And especially now with this Reebok deal that's come in, fighters are losing between 80, 90% of the money they were getting from sponsors just a year ago. So if you want to support me and my endeavors, Zombie Cage Fighter, ZombieCageFighter.com. And all I'm doing is I'm recycling that money back into the comic, back into the shirts, because my goal is to give back to the fighters, sponsor them as well. Build my brand and give back to the sport that gave me so much. All right, y'all, a lot of information. This guy got this new thing coming out. It's UFC veteran, Nate Quarry. I'm Fight Mike, and we out here. Thank you, dude.